this video, I want to answer the question, what is David Rock's scarf model? And how can you use it? Social behaviors, like those we see in and around our project, are driven by two powerful urges. Firstly, to minimize perceived threat, and secondly, to maximize potential reward. But what are the sources of threats and rewards in the social domain? That's the question that David Rock's scarf model sets out to answer. Social behaviors are driven by the same brain systems as drive our survival responses. David Rock developed a model of five domains of social experiences that drive our threat and reward responses. First is status, our social position in relation to others, how we feel we fit in, and our sense of personal worth. Second, certainty, how predictable we think the future events will be. Third, autonomy, how much control we have over ourselves and the events around us. Fourth, relatedness, our sense of being connected to other people and feeling safe among them. And fifth, fairness, our perception of justice, equity and respect, and how reasonably we feel we're being treated. All of these five domains can activate the principle threat and reward circuits in our brains. And once triggered, our brains will attempt to categorize each stimulus as either good, in which case we should approach it, or bad, in which case we should withdraw from it. And once we've learned the nature of each stimulus, we store the approach avoid response in our amygdala. When we encounter the stimulus again, the level of activation of our amygdala will dictate the strength of our emotional response to that stimulus. This is important because the approach avoid response will activate our limbic system, which is responsible for our emotions and can therefore have a big effect on our cognitive performance. Rewards trigger interest, confidence and creativity. We become more willing to engage with people and with events. Threats inhibit detailed perception and subtle thinking. Instead, our thinking tends to generalizations and our behaviors become defensive in an attempt to avoid a perceived threat. You can use the SCARF model to provide your team members and your stakeholders with a safe and emotionally nourishing workplace environment. Status. Do provide positive feedback and praise. Reward good work and offer training. Don't over instruct, criticize publicly or exclude people from social situations. Certainty. Do ask people about their expectations and set clear expectations. Share your plans and your strategy and explain things clearly. Don't spring things on people, act unpredictably, or keep secrets. Autonomy. Do offer choices, delegate full tasks, and consult people on any decisions. Don't micromanage, present a fait accompli, or use authoritarian leadership styles. Relatedness. Do encourage socializing. Be friendly. Mentor people. Share stories. Ask after relatives. And set up team meetings. Don't prohibit social conversations. Isolate people. Break your promises. 
or create unnecessary and unhelpful competition. Fairness. Do recognise success. Treat people with respect and equity. Establish values and set ground rules. And crucially, stick to them. In all things, be open and transparent. Don't discriminate or play favourites. And don't fudge or obscure rules or go against expectations unless it's absolutely necessary. I'll put a link to David Rock's excellent 2008 paper, SCARF, a brain-based model for collaborating with and influencing others, into the description. In summary, we use the SCARF model to influence interactions to minimise threat and to maximise rewards in each of the five social domains. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management content for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.